<laughs> What's going on YouTube? My family and my friends. I don't know if I want to have my hat like this or I'm going to flip it and bounce it, you know, so many ways. But what's going on? My family and my friends. Excellent Dreams here back with another exclusive video for y'all today. So I've been playing around with the reflective. I've been doing it for about two years now. Here and there, you know, using it for little bits and pieces. So, I've been doing a lot of reflective lately. When I say a lot of reflective, look at this. I still got the paper in it because, I, well, I don't know why. I wasn't going to put no stones on it. That's why I went with the reflective. But look at that. Man, oh man, oh man. That came out great. For sure, for sure. Of course, the one I got on, you know, got the whole skull head reflective, you know. But wait, there's more. So, let me show y'all. I have this image here. Bada boom, bada bing. Sublimated on 13 by 19 inch sublimation paper. Of course, I like to trim off the edges. For some reason, with my printer, it be ink hiding in those edges. So I like to trim them off for sure. I know uh, other people say use the tear technique instead of the cut. You get a softer line, and then you don't have the the press outline of the shirt, you know, of the paper, sublimation paper in the shirt. But hey, I feel like. After a day or two, you know, after the first wash, that comes out. All right. So I already have my paper, my shirt on the press. I had it with a piece of packing paper in the middle. I always like to adjust my pressure to make sure it's right, and it definitely feels right. It feels fantastic. I want to place my sublimation image, of course, three inches down from the top. Oh, well, not three inches. I like to do three fingers, you know, position it pretty much right there. Come down just a little bit. I think that'll look good for this shirt. And once I lay that, got it right where I want to be, I add my packing paper on top. And let's bake it for 60 seconds. My heat press says it's, th it's at uh, 395 right now, but it's hovering from 395 to 400. I'm gonna let that bake for 60 seconds. 60 seconds. Mm-hmm. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, man. I've just noticed. Oh, they cutting grass outside. Y'all can hear all of my environment. It's all good, though. I hope it doesn't take away from, you know, the learning experience. So Sub it in, sub it in. That's for that sublimation, you know what I mean? Sub it in. Man, look at that, look at that. Sublimation. But wait, there's more. So, after I sub the shirt, people ask me, like, well, how do you do the reflective part, right? And if you purchase any of my designs, you know 
that nine times out of ten I have it broken up for you to layer it and puzzle it together which I feel is a lot easier than just trying to cut off a whole entire sheet and then position the sheet onto the paper. They are really out there doing it, man. That shit is loud. But I'm already in my zone, so, you know, already in my zone. So here we have the chain and we have the money. Also, I cut out this little piece right here for his ring. Let's just separate these pieces. Separate this piece right here. But y'all know what? We're not even about to press this right now because the heat press is still on 400. And it has to be down to uh, about 315 to press this reflective on. But as you can see, I'm gonna put it right here on his chain. Like so. I don't even know if y'all can see that so far away. But I'm gonna layer one piece right there, the other piece I'm gonna put on the other side. I'm gonna layer this on top of the money. Y'all might even see it from there. Boom, like so. That's gonna be so, so dope. I'm trying to tell you. Let me see what y'all see. I just layer the pieces in like so. All right, got a couple more shirts to sub. So we'll take this, we'll sit this to the side, off to the side. Like so, we'll take this shirt, sit it off to the side as well. On to the next shirt. We have Bada boom, bada bing. Like I said, I like to trim off those edges. We ain't hiding in those edges. They're out there cutting that the shit out that grass. I'm trying to tell you. that you got on a black shirt, you know what I'm saying? And I guess with this, I could have actually uh, made the entire image black and did it all over. But I'll do that on a later video where I do a, a front all over design with rhinestones and maybe even reflection and turn this black shirt Turn the white of it, the front of it, to any color I want to. Um, next episode, we're going to do that. Matter of fact, after this, I'm going to go in there and order some sub livings just to make sure I got something to do it on. It's going down for real. This right here going to come out lit, y'all. When I finally get done with it, this one right here is going to be a masterpiece. Trust me. 
trust me. Let's make sure we got it on there right. You know. Of course, we got packing paper in the inside, as always. And then we got, we layer this. Boom. But you know what, y'all? With these sub Livy shirts, that back, we need to cover our heat press up. That heat on that for so long, on this fresh shirt, it does something. I think it leaves that black residue from the shirt on to the heat press. So you want to make sure you got your press covered up for this part. Boom. Now we got our Oh, let's do that. Let's do a pre-press. Yeah. Press it in, press it in. Alright. Now let's position our graphic onto the apparel. Position the graphic onto the apparel. Make sure we got it lined up just right, man. I'm gonna be styling in, in, in this one. It's gonna send me to the store to go buy some new red shoes. I already see it. I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna be online shopping for some red shoes today, y'all. Woo! Let's press it in, sub it in. You know, either way you want to say it, sub it in, sub it in. And then we got another one. We got another one. Wait a minute. Oh, okay. That's I see what that's for. That's for the. That's for the DMX. That's for the DMX. It's going down. We got thirty more seconds, y'all. I just want to know. Uh, is y'all liking? this video if y'all liking my channel if you haven't subscribed yet hit that subscribe button remember to turn on your notifications to be notified whenever i do a video whenever i go live whenever i upload a short just for y'all to check it out we got four three two beep Sub it in, sub it in. All that red pop. It pop, 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 pop. I don't know if y'all can see that. The outline of that black on there. Can you see that, Cairo? The outline of that black? It's like a big black box. You see it? Is it? Am I just tripping? You saying I'm tripping? Yeah. Because I could have swore the last time I subbed one of these, it left that black stuff all on the, on the press. So what was it that day that did that? Oh, I ain't show y'all the shirt. I'm tripping. Right here. Boom. But wait, there's more. You already know there's more. I always have more in store. So, this is part one. Remember to check out part two. I'll leave a link in the description down below. Uh, after I do part two, that way to group them together. And then if I do a part three, you know, I group that to all of, you know. You know how it goes. All right. And wait a minute. We might as well sub, sub one more. We might as well do one more. But roll, Jack. Don't you come back no more, no more, no more, no more. Hit the roll, Jack. Look. Now this one was the one that drove the internet crazy. So I might as well show y'all exactly how I did it. I just showed y'all the finished product. I didn't show the actual, actual shirt. 
Already designed. So here we have it. We got good old Richie jumping into the to the money pool. Remember we want to trim off those edges because it's inking those edges. I don't know why. My friend that does this, but it's all good. I just cut it right on now. Now if anybody can remember the last time I did this shirt, uh how I applied the special effect, you know. Comment down below. Let me let you. How did I do it? How did I do it? Well, I guess y'all already know because I told you early in the video. But check it out. Boom. That money pool. Da 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 da. Now I think I'm gonna use uh, glue stones on this as well. But first I need to cut, I need to sub this part and then cut out the, you guessed it, reflect, yeah. Cut out the reflective and then layer the reflective over the pool before I add the stones. That's how we do it. That's how we do it, player. Let's cover this up with this sheet right here. Let's get it. Y'all know, y'all know how the story go. Sub it in, sub it in. So check this one out. I got. I be making all these shirts for me, y'all. Play. I mean, as y'all see, uh, I buy a lot of shoes, so I be wanting exquisite shirts to rock with my shoes. So I haven't added the reflection on this one yet. You know, I'm thinking of actually. I don't know. I don't. I really don't know yet. Play. You know I mean, when I first planned it, I planned for it to be a design with rhinestones, but then. As I got into it, the reflection hit me mid, mid part, and I was like, yeah, let's do the garbage can. And I forgot to do the gun. So, I need to cut out another one and reflect the whole thing. Reflect, uh-oh, uh-oh, here we go, here we go. Sub it in, sub it in. This one's gonna be this one gonna this one's gonna be a showstopper right here, y'all. A head turner. People gonna be like, where'd you get that at? And I'm gonna be like, I made it. But wait, there's more. You already know. Uh, when I come back with part two, we're going to add the reflective to all of these and show you how they come out. Stay tuned.